I wanted to do a couple of examples from the homework on using the calculator to round a number. I'm going to take some of these even numbered ones here to start. So this number two says round 9.835 to one decimal place. Now without the calculator, you would look at the second decimal place, the three, and because that's zero, one, two, three, or four, you would round this off to 9.8. You wouldn't round up, you'd leave the nine point eight as nine point eight. But we can use the calculator for doing rounding. So here is the TI calculator. Whoops, I have to go back and check what the number is. Point nine point eight three five. Okay, now let me go back to the calculator. So on the calculator, if I go to math and then arrow over to num, see the second thing on this menu is round, and this will round any number. So if I hit enter, I have to put the number in that I want to round. It was 9.835, 9.835. Five, and then you can tell it how many decimal places you want, comma, and then one for one decimal place. Close off the parentheses. And when I hit enter, it rounds it off to the correct answer, 9.8. That's rounding off to one decimal place. Now let me do an, another example. So in these examples, 7, 8, 9, 10, they want three decimal places. Let's take number eight here, it says 0.98744. So if I look at the fourth decimal place, there's that four there, which means since it's less than five, I would just leave the answer as 0.987, but we can let the calculator do that for us. So if I go back to the calculator, 0.98744, so if I go math, num, round, enter and put in 0 0.98744, 0.98744, and this time I want to round it to three decimal places, comma, three, close the parentheses, and that will, when I hit enter, that's 0 0.987, that's that number rounded to three decimal places. Now, sometimes a rounding example can get a little bit tricky I just wanted to look at one more of these. This is number 53 in this homework. It says round this number, I'm going to write it down, so remember 0 .001, 0 .001, 0 0.001.0016976970028, and it wants me to round that to five places. Now, if I count one, two, three, four, five, so I want to look at the sixth place, which is that seven there. Because it's a seven, I want to round up. So when I round up, you see it's a nine there, so I'd have to change that to a zero and add a one to that six to round it up correctly. So occasionally a rounding example can be a little bit tricky. Not for the calculator. On the calculator, if I go math, num, Number two is round, and once you get used to doing this, you can get to this place very quickly. And now I'm going to enter that number, which was point zero zero one six nine seven zero zero one six nine seven zero two eight. And I want to round this to five decimal places, so I'm going to put in comma five. And when I hit enter, I get the correct rounding point 0017. Notice it gave four decimal places here. The implication is that the fifth decimal place would be a zero anyway.